explain it's James here over the part-time entrepreneur today we're gonna have a look at some of the key news that's out there I now I haven't done a, a video on this for us for some time but there's a lot of key things all coming together it ties into all the stuff I've been saying since December uh, and I just think it was a great one to share because it just gives some confidence because the big question I always get asked is are we at the bottom and what happens next <laughs> Bitrix is one of the biggest out there. It's now taking on new customers again, which is great to see because I know that some of the projects that I'm involved with uh, will definitely be going onto this platform. So again, high liquidity, really easy to use platform. Uh, apart from Binance, it's probably the next one I use quite a lot. So JP Morgan are in the news again and they're being sued over fees for cryptocurrency purchases, which seems completely bizarre in the sense of all the Jamie Deem on malarkey and all the rest of it which is i think that's probably karma at play here so i'm quite enjoying reading this particular article so the biggest question i get asked is where's the bottom what happens next well the thing is a lot of the big guys are coming out now and they're saying that the bear market is pretty much over you know we're down sort of like 75 76 percent from the highs of nearly twenty thousand on bitcoin now this is really interesting because the dynamics I talked about in December was that the big institutional investors would start to come in. And the reason I knew that is because I was involved in creating a hedge fund. Now, the, the amounts of money that these guys are talking about is very different to my own personal portfolio and, and many other people out there. You know, they're looking at minimum 100 million like euros or whatever it is. So, you know, this is really critical. But the one article that really caught my eye was that uh, George Soros is now investing in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Now, he he's a fantastic investor. He really knows what he's talking about. And it's really interesting to see that, you know, he's coming and he's using his family's hedge fund to, to come into the space. You know, there's also some, you know, I've seen rumors around the Rothschilds. And if anyone knows the Rothschilds, you know, they own things like Holton House, which is worth in excess of like 100 million uh, pounds. And they, they, you know, they, they own so much stuff. It's unbelievable. There's so much wealth within those guys. And the thing is this, if you want to learn how to get wealthy, you follow the wealthy people. So as the market is tanking and hitting the bottom, all of these investment guys are starting to come in. And all of the news that I'm seeing all feeds into the same sort of story. We're seeing Coin Tracker raise 1.5 million to make tracking crypto investments even more easier. You know, once this uh, whole crypto space gets to a touch of a button, type investing, then this will go absolutely ape. And again, another article that just backs up this, the huge investors. So a lot of them are seeing an opportunity even though Bitcoin price is going down. Now that's the smart money coming in. When the price is going down, they start to buy in. Now I know people that have sold out quite recently at 80% losses, uh, they're gonna kick themselves. Uh, but you you know you can't do anything about that you just have to let people do their own thing but as you can see there's institutional demand coming that is the absolute key to this the big boys the rhinos the elephants they're all stampeding to get in so mike novogratz has just made uh, the vp of goldman sachs the coo of his cryptocurrency company now we're seeing this happen all over the shop we've just seen uh, michael Bicella also leave quite recently in 2016 uh, I think it's uh, Luka Janovic left as well. And they're all coming into the crypto space. Now, Mike Novogratz is one of the big guys I follow. A uh, couple of reasons. One, you know, he used to be part of Goldman Sachs. So he has that institutional investment knowledge. He also ran huge hedge funds. He's very connected. He knows a lot of people. He was retired. He's come out of retirement to do this. So that takes that must take a hell of a lot of motivation. I'm incredibly pumped to come back and do this. So for me, he's a he's a huge indicator in the marketplace, and also he he called the Bitcoin prices as well. So he knows what he's talking about. He seems like a solid guy. He really understands the space. He's got the financial knowledge and background. He's the connections to bring the hedge funds in. And as we're already seeing, there's a lot of that happening. Once those guys come in, this space will absolutely explode. So New York townhouse has just gone up for over 45 million in cryptocurrency. They're accepting Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple. 
no Bitcoin Cash, unfortunately. The house is owned by Claudio de Zane de Sant. Hope I've got that right. He's an angel investor in cryptocurrency. So this, again, it's not the user eyes of the world that will be able to afford this. If This is the big boys playing the game now. And this is where it gets really interesting because obviously it creates that liquidity. A lot more money will be changing hands. And not only that, there was a, I think there was a place in Ibiza that came up for sale in Bitcoin and also even a Caribbean island. So I don't want to finish on a downer today, but one thing that I really need to bring to people's attention is the tax issue. So obviously in some countries this is established, in most it's not. In Poland, it looks like they're taking the piss basically. They want pretty much a third of your cryptocurrency to be paid in tax. And obviously when you do exchanges, they're taking 1% as well, which just doesn't seem fair. So what I would do is probably establish a company in Lithuania and run everything through that because then the taxes will be just way way cheaper as always guys really appreciate you tuning in i hope this news was uh, of some use i hope you got some value from it and understanding that i think that we are at the bottom now and actually we're going to start to see some really good rises especially with this institutional money that's starting to come in and it, literally every other story i read is institutional money coming into the marketplace which is only great news follow me on social media or join one of my facebook groups and i'll catch you on the next video I'm feeling low.